welcome welcome back we're gonna prep the meat from overnight for the next day all right so we're gonna just season up the meat now i have a piece of pork leg right if this mark is that the meat is branded it it's okay to purchase and all of that stuff because i went to my local uh, meat shop and i get this nice piece of pork leg nice I went to Ed and I washed it properly and everything. Now I am going to season it. I went to Ed and I put some seasoning. All right, that I'm going to, you know, just mix together and put on my pork. Now I have some paprika, salt, black pepper, garlic powder, ginger powder, um, season to the bone, seasoning, a special jerk right here, pimento seeds. And I have some cayenne pepper right here. I have some cloves right there. And I have some nutmeg. Everybody our friend right now. You know, one game we have a play. And I rub up, rub up. All right? And I also made some marks in the meat where I want um, the seasoning to be. Yes, I'm gonna rub it in. Right, I'm going to go in with a little wet jerk season. Put whatever, as I tell you before, you can put whatever brand you like. And I'm going to go in with a little of this seasoning to green seasoning, not too much. Some soya sauce, a little browning too, not too much. Remember, I tell you about the browning, you can't use too much, you know. But I am a girl, I don't like my meat to look white. So I'm going to also rub this over the meat. You're going to massage it in. Yeah, man. Remember now we know what. Always have to keep our hands clean because we have to, we have to do this to our food. We have to always be touching our food. So, you know. Also, I am going to go and add my vegetables to it. So I have some Irish potato, carrots, ginger, scotch bonnet pepper, garlic, scallion and onion. So I'm gonna put this all over it too, on it. Remember now, anyway, see this piece of pork? It's pot roast, I'm going to pot roast it. Don't remember if I had said it um, when the video started, but this the reason why I have it just in one like this because I'm going to pot roast it, right? So I let it stay into one like this. I am not so um normally I don't like to get this piece with the bone in it. You understand? But you know I just go ahead with it, and if you notice it, have the skin and all of that. But I'm just gonna work with it for tomorrow. But you can put it down just like this if you have the space in your refrigerator but i don't think i have the space so i'm going to put it into a nice bag right so this is the next day after the pork has been marinated with all your seasoning then so you know when we're going to put it into the pot as i ensure that all of these things come off it all right but to give it that nice seasoned flavor I place everything there and I'm also going to use these to in my gravy all right so area of it nicely marinated overnight getting ready to go into the pot I put a little oil in there yes. I'm just gonna let them stay in there and now I'm gonna drop in my pork leg So I just feel like that first, all right? And I'm going to cover it because it's like a steaming process. So it's gonna stay there and steam for a little bit, sweat, sweat. And I'm gonna keep on turning it. And as I go along, I will show you the cooking process for this. 
It's about roughly two hours. So as I go along, I will let you see what I am doing. This is after the first turn, right? So they sweat somewhere. So I'm just pouring some water, not a lot, some warm water. Because remember now, when I'm cooking like this, like this is my Dutch pot, it's an ideal pot to do your pot roasting. If you have a Dutch pot, nice, sturdy pot. So you're going to allow that to stay there and cook. So each time you turn it, you're going to pour a little. I, I use warm water. The meat is getting tender, so we don't want to bring it back. So we just continue with the warm water until our meat is finished, all right? Nice, coming on nice. Yes, it's not burnt. It's a golden color right there. So each time you turn, it will get this color. But you just keep, you have to just keep adding water. The water has dried down, so I will add some more water to it now. It is not law. Whatever I say, you can cook it all you wish. From everything, you can get some, some little tips. Two small cinnamon leaves, right? Guess what? I really almost forget to put my cinnamon leaf in it. Because normally when I'm cooking, when I'm not like pot roasting, I'm just cooking the pot the other way. One day I'll show you that one, that video coming up shortly. Um, I always use cinnamon leaf. Uh, um, it's a key ingredient in my pork. So I'm going to drop it somewhere about there in the pot. You understand? Cinnamon leaf and nutmeg for your pork, your kangaroo. Cinnamon leaf, nutmeg, and um, and the pimento seed. You understand? If the cloves is not a must, I did put cloves in there. You see them there? Them, them make the pork taste so nice. I'm not exaggerating. Just try it, may I tell you. After two hours, guys, you can see that the meat is, the meat is cooked. So guess what? I am going to take out this piece of meat out of the pot but this pot I am gonna proceed to cook up my vegetables that I have over there and um, that was marinated with the meat I'm gonna cook it up in the same pot right and then I put back this piece of meat in it all right So people my over here stir like hell. I never sit there. The thing I record. So I'm gonna add some boiling water to this, right? That amount, right? So I'm going to add some ketchup. Remember, I always tell you that you can add what you want, but always remember to taste the pot. Okay, put a little piece of butter. So we're going to allow it to cook down for a few more minutes until the gravy is thicker, right? Nice, nice Jamaican pot roasted pork. You can not eat this with anything, white rice, Irish potato, whatever you like, whatever you wish. You can eat it by itself with some vegetable, whatever you choose. How could I forget this? My red label. Just about two tablespoons of red label in it. Remember, I use this already, but normally I put it in when they actually finished. Because if I put it in before, it will disappear. So this is it. 
Lucia's Pot Rose Ted Park. Right? Yes. Here you have it. My nice, nice Pot Rose Ted Pork. And I serve it up with some lettuce and salad and plantain. Two slices of the nice, nice pork, please. Don't forget to go and tell all of your friends, your family to like, share, and subscribe to Cooking with Musha. And stay tuned for my next video.